Hello everyone, welcome to the Burma Institute. Welcome, uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are fr watching from right now. Um, yes, today we have a special live stream. Uh, we are not going to make works, but we are going to talk about the Master in European Floral Design course that we have right now. It's a 20-day lesson course completely taught by Gregor Lers, and we are exactly at the halfway point. The last day of the first part, the next part will start in March, and then, if everything goes well, we might even be teaching this course again next year. So that's a really special announcement that we haven't put online yet, but that's going to be really nice. So it's a very deep education going into detail on the education, yeah, on the theoretical part, on the technical part, on all the important aspects of floristry. We are creating a lot of different designs, like if, as you can see behind me here is a work that Gregor has been making today. Uh, it's a wall decoration, the theme for today is wall decoration. And uh, right now in the other classroom, the students, of one of which I am, but right now of course I am not there, but they are working right now on their own wall piece, but they will be showing you some of their other works they have made earlier on in the week. So a lot of different subjects, um, but let's not talk about that too much. I would like to ask uh, Gregor to, uh, to come forward also and uh, maybe say a bit about how he thought this course was going. Everything is going uh, as you thought it would be? Uh, yes, it is, because of, uh, I think, the very uh, um, intimate uh, school atmosphere in the middle of the very busy flower-related world in Alsmeer. This is an unbelievable combination. And if you see that uh, in the class we have here people even uh, with uh, the, um, you can say from many, many countries, mm. cultures and the languages are going here um, forwards and backwards. We have uh, several languages in the room, and, uh, but the communication is well possible because yeah. of we have as uh, the major uh, language we are talking in English. Correct. And then the, you can imagine that the flowers what we have available in Alsmeer are very well. Yeah. And I am not too far from home, so when we put our um, prep, preps and props and preps yeah, yeah. together, so then you can imagine that it is not poor. So we have every day a lot of different uh, works, but then we are always uh, pushing ourselves very much for uh, to have a, a, a theoretical uh, skeleton we are mm. going from. So that is not only the design scheme, this is also the uh, uh, many uh, scales we are yep. following, and sure. I think that is what it really needs. But let's see what uh, yeah, these uh, young folks, what they uh, sure. say. And uh, so uh, this is now after this two weeks, mm -hmm. um, they can really say uh, for themselves what is uh, uh, interesting for them and yep. what is useful for them. So if I would speak, I would speak for what yeah, we are we doing can, here, we speak but I think we listen to the folks, for what sure. they are saying. I think you are totally right. And uh, the first one who will be coming is uh, Yelena. And uh, I have a nice little pedestal here. Go, Thank you very I much, Gregor. Side, Thank you yeah. very much. We will now put the mic, oh, the microphone from Gregor on uh, Yelena. And actually, maybe in the meantime, while we are doing that, I will bring the pedestal. And like Gregor said, it's a very intimate situation because there's only 12 students in the classroom. We have a very small classroom. And um, he also said there's a lot of materials. It's correct. Gregor, he brought a lot of structures with him. He had a truckload full, actually. I didn't expect that so much. Um, and in the meantime, while the microphone is being worked on... Oh, no? Wait, we will do that later. No, so we have here, Yelena. You have Hello. a very lovely work. Hello, uh, I want uh, to be very thank thankful for the whole team of Burma. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, because it's a so cool opportunity um, back to offline education. Mm. And um, for reasons, we had no chance only online. Yeah. We all of us uh, have joined uh, online courses by different masters. But to come here and to be offline and to feel the master uh, from the great, great capital, <laughs> and uh, to 
um, to be the on in this uh, spirit mm -hmm. and to be able to walk uh, under his eyes and to feel his um, help each moment when you need uh, an advice what is always meet off with offline it's mm -hmm. impossible yeah. and um, it's uh, great to um, make uh, better for ourselves and I'm very very thankful for this chance. Yes. Thank you yeah. very much too. I, uh, think you've made something I, I wanted nice. to say that uh, in these 10 days uh, I could approve, uh, if, if this is for my feeling, that mm. is not judging from the master or from teachers, it's uh, I feel myself much convenient in asymmetric, asymmetrical works. Mm. Uh, what was uh, for before this and uh, just uh, some very uh, tiny um, work uh, could be done not rough and big uh, all also for the tiny things we could go mm -hmm. and I'm really in very very high mood from this uh, perfect uh, place where we could get our knowledge thank you very yeah. much that's so yeah. kind of you yeah I thank th you mike thank you i think you made a really lovely work you've been spending a lot of time here weaving and you have two sides here that's yeah, very interesting that's, yeah that's idea was uh, from um, feelings and it both sides are different and the both sides are symmetrical but when you see both sides that you can say it's symmetrical yeah, because yeah. it's vice versa and for sure yeah and um yeah, for this before these ten days, I won't come mm. uh, to these ideas because now after Gregor's very clear uh, scheme, how you can find your way of inspirations, yeah. it was uh, a very very um, definitely the best day when you could combine all your thoughts in some order yes that's so cool you're right it was the wellsprings of inspiration it was a really interesting subject we go really through all these different subjects and it was yeah very cool yeah thank you very much yeah. okay. yes all right yeah. so okay. thank, thank you thank very you. much thank you very very much yes and then uh, you can go work back on your beautiful wall decoration i yeah, saw it starts to you. become very nice so that was elena engelman thank you very much um, whilst Sin is uh, switching the microphones and uh, actually getting the next person to, uh, to demonstrate, I thought um, I'm also a student uh, in this course because missing out on the opportunity to study from Gregor would be uh, really crazy and I really love his work and like to study from him a lot. So I also was participating, yes, and um, I made one of these works and it was on the day of, um, um, how do you call it? Oh, yes, uh, asymmetrical proportions as well. Let's see how f if we can get this on the screen. Uh, this is called a displacement. So we had a day completely focused on displacement. And that is when you have a subject or a base in one part here. And the actual arrangement or the vocal point is in another part. Actually, uh, I will show it a little bit lower as well. You can see like ah, here we have the nice upper part with some movement and, uh, and Gregor really explained to me how to create a little bit more depth in the design by uh, making all these different layers and making things cross, go from here to there. So I'll put it back on here so that you can see that more clearly. And all these different movements. So there's a movement that's going a little bit swaying. There's uh, some very strict movement going downwards. And then there's the placement with the asymmetrical triangle, which is super important, the Fibonacci sequence. Um, you know, when I'm working myself, I don't always really take the time to really go deep into the theoretical part uh, in this type of level. So it was really also a great experience for myself to, to work with this and to learn from Gregor. Here's the other side. It's also different. And like the advice from Weber was to add uh, some branch to the front so that we create some more depth and layering. So that was, that was my piece. And then we have uh, Claudia Tararake from all the way from Romania. And she also has made a beautiful work. Ah, we need two pillars for this one. Yes. Could you maybe arrange the second pillar, Angelica? Yeah. Oh, and actually before, 
we move to Claudia. I hear Angelica said there's a lot of there's a lot of people in the chat saying hi and and saying comments. So maybe we first uh, let Angelica read the the comments. I uh, will put the second pillar here. Thank you very much. All right, Angelica, thank you for this second pillar. And then Angelica will be reading the comments so that we can hear a little bit about what you're saying. Yes, in the meantime, Claudia is putting her work on here. Yes, Angelica, please. So yeah, on. of course we have uh, Lisa Florisa in the chat saying hey, hi, Burma friends from hi. Colorado. We have Artie Flora Granville saying Thank you very much for joining us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we have Atelier Moy Bloom. Hello ah. from hey. JP, Japan. Yes, from Japan. That's a long time ago. Thank you. Good that you are with us. I hope the weather and everything is all right and on your side of the planet. Right now here it's raining, but thank you very much for joining us again. And we have Ionella Poccio saying, hi, everyone. Uh, so glad to see you. Hi. Good luck, hey. Claudia. It's a <laughs> fellow you. country uh, uh, country woman of you. It's uh, Ionella, Ionella Poccio Valistiano. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, yes, a nice, uh -huh. very nice Buena. person. Yeah, so please go ahead, tell a little bit about yourself and your work. Hi everybody, I'm Claudia Tarlake. I'm from, Rom uh, from Romania. I've come um, at these master classes because I wanted uh, so much to be uh, taught by uh, Gregor Lersch because I admire him very much and I knew that it was the best opportunity for me to learn sure. all that great things. Uh, here we le learn about uh, well, lots of new styles, techniques. Uh, we spoke about how to arrange uh, the flowers in, um, in, a, in a design, how to think a design before you cre we create it, because we, jo we don't uh, must go to the flower first. We must think of the steps, what steps we should make. And um, I created a design. Um, I wanted to create a strong asymmetric design. This why I made a displaceable design, um, where uh, the colors are uh, here more important. Um, uh, it would be perfect for a table restaurant. That uh, what, that was my idea, mm. and um, I love very much all that. Uh, uh, all that apples and this uh, color of roses, cappuccino, um, and uh, the talim is making a very nice part of it. So I think this is my arrangement, my arrangement, and a little bit of my story. I've got a lot of emotions, so <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to say something else for you, it will be a pleasure. Yes. So if you have any questions in the chat, please go ahead and ask. So I just want to talk a little bit about these beautiful roses that you have. They are from DecoFresh and they supplied a lot of wonderful uh, roses and were very inspiring, I think. Yeah. So that's nice. Yes, and you, I think you made a really, really strong design here with this very strong asymmetrical shape. Really cool. Lovely color palette that you chose. So that's really nice. And can you tell a little bit maybe while they're getting some questions, what you do normally in your daily life? What kind of work? Where can they follow you? Are you on Instagram? <laughs> yes, um, we, me and my husband have a flower shop. Uh, it's, a, um, it's Anturium Flowers from Constanza. Uh, it's a family business. We, um, we are very happy that we have a very good team. Um, and without, uh, without my team, I couldn't be here now because uh, it's very important to me that uh, uh, all my clients, el uh, my clients also to be happy. So um, because of my team, I can do a lot of beautiful things that I want and I can, um, I can uh, make the new steps for that uh, I want to make in my life. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. you thank you. Bye. Oh, it was a nice pleasure. We have a question coming in. Well, not questions, but there are people okay. saying a lot of stuff. So just me says hi. Go, go, Cloud. Kisses. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have Kim Otto saying hi, everyone. Hope that everything is going well with you guys. We have uh, Lisa Florisa saying hi, dear friend Elena. Uh, ah, so nice. proud of you. So we need to tell her that. We will tell Elena. That's nice. We have Nicole Danny saying Claudia is the best. Oh, Nicole, 
says, Nicole, Nicole says Danny the says Claudia is the best. Nice. We have Rupalichette saying many thanks for going live, Mike, and dear Master Gregor. Thank you very much. We're happy that you are here and that we can show you something nice and interesting and that we can show you the beautiful works that are made by all my fellow students. And yes, the next student uh, who will be showing you something to you is uh, Camille. He is a student from Poland and he has made a lovely arrangement. So, and I'm, Aneta and I will help him out a little bit with the language if he needs it. So we are here for you, Camille. So, a beautiful design, I think. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Great. <laughs> Can you tell a little bit about it? Um, about this? Mm -hmm. uh, this is my composition, composition from, uh, from yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, and I use uh, Wicker uh, mm -hmm. because I very like Wicker and I try to uh, use Wicker in, uh, in floristry. Uh, mm -hmm. And and I, I know, uh, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yes, yes, so I think you made a really lovely color palette. Gregor also said something about it. You're really including all these gradients, all these lovely colors that are in. The wicker, of course, is like a little bit beige colored and that's coming back into the flowers and then the pink. Very romantic style <laughs> that you have here. And you come from Poland and uh, what do you do normally in your daily life? Uh, yes, I, I am from Poland. Uh, I work uh, in university, in Sopot University. Uh, and I help my, my parents, uh, business parents. Oh, nice. But awesome. not flowers. <laughs> not flowers, <laughs> yeah. but you are going to be an amazing florist, I think, if you have all these <laughs> works that you have here already. So, well, thank you, thank you very much. Anything we would like to tell the people at home? <laughs> or no. Uh, maybe no, mm -hmm. because my English is not Okay, good. <laughs> oh good. Well, I think your work speaks for itself. You can really see how lovely it is with all the different heights and the nice crossing movement. And I think you really did a great job. Thank you very much for showing it Thank uh, you. to the world. Thank you. All right. Then, um, yeah. Then if uh, Sin could uh, grab the next person, then... Uh, I will just uh, talk with you a little bit. Do, does anyone else have any questions in the chat? Uh, did anyone say something? Well, uh, there are things being said. Oh. We have S. Javeri saying hi. Hey. Uh, Ionella says, I like it very much what Claudia did, uh, that she worked with the negative space. Yes, yes, that's this asymmetrical work. It has a lot of uh, negative space. So I will tell Claudia in a sec that, uh, that you really liked it. Thank you. We have uh, Salma Farouk saying hi from Pakistan. Oh, hello. And uh, Arti Flora Granville says, mm. I see Gregor in all of these. How nice. Yeah, definitely. You can say that there's a lot of inspiration there. Huh? So that's nice to, to hear that it's able to be seen like that. Then um, the next. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah. You No, please go ahead. Well, um, we Angelica. have our friend David Sim saying hey, hello, David. Burma family. This live, live stream is awesome. Thank you very much, David. How great, great that you are here as well, all the way from Canada. <laughs> nice. Well, maybe this is also something for you at some point in the future. I think it's really an, an amazing experience. I think you are ready for it if you if you want to. And we might, like I said earlier on the stream, we might be repeating this again. Um, of course, this is part one, so part two will happen in March, but we might be doing another one in November, actually. We talked with Gregor about it, so that would be amazing. So anyone who would want to join is, is able to do so. And um, I think Tuba is ready for it. And I have uh, another pedestal here on which to show her work. So let me just uh, move like a gorilla with all these things. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Yes, so Tuba Oskan, hey. all the way here from Turkey. Where like? Yes, I think there? we can put it here. Okay. I think you made an amazing bouquet. <laughs> and Thank you. If you want to tell a little bit about yourself and about your work, then Where, here? please feel free. Yes, you can stand <laughs> next to it. Next yes, to it, I think okay. Yes. Well, you can see yourself in the screen, so that's very convenient. That's not convenient yeah. for me. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to see myself and I cannot stand <laughs> to sorry. hear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we don't hear our voices. Okay. I also don't like <laughs> to hear my voice, but anyway. So, um, as always, I wanted to challenge myself whenever I'm uh, with Gregor's classes. Nice. And since I 
it was so I realized in the morning I did this in the afternoon and then the other morning I realized that it, I had a subliminal emotion uh, within my within my hand mm. so I felt a little bit heavy yeah. due to uh, personal and so many reasons happening yeah. in the country so mm. I said maybe it's better to work a little bit light yeah. So, and I definitely wanted to use equisetum. Yes. I wanted to use it in a diagonal way. So, um, I created the base and then put the equisetums in, mm. and then I realized that there is no depth in it. So, uh. I said, it's better to change it into a hand tied bouquet. Yeah. So, it turned out to be a, a very light bouquet standing. Mm -hmm. It can be for a as it was like the guidelines, yeah. um, the, the methodologies and so on. For but sure. um, where to replace it was something like a contemporary jewelry store mm. in my mind. Mm -hmm. So that's how it looks. And, and I don't know. I love yeah. to challenge myself. It's out of my comfort zone doing uh, these kind of very few flowers work. But it was always. It's always fun yeah, and yeah, yeah. I enjoy it a lot. Wow, that's great to hear. Yeah, when I first saw this work, I was really impressed. I think it's very lovely. It has a great atmosphere. Thank you. Super asymmetric. Now you have like this nice, more fuller bunch here and then a little bit softer, thinner bunch and then all these interesting movements you have there. Amazing very colors. Thank you. Ah, the that's color was yes. another issue as well. I wanted to light. I mm. need lightness. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a monkey in my brain talking and jumping and running around. So I just want it to be, t to be a little bit calm yeah. and zen. I don't know. It, it, with the lines, it's not that zen, but yeah, yeah. with the color, it opened my heart a bit. Yeah, for sure. It I refreshed me. <laughs> yeah, nice. I think it's a good point. There's an active line, but still it feels very calm to me. Oh, I think the color. Uh, Angelica here has well, a question. Well, no, a, may I say something? Yes, I think um, you wanted to make something uh, light, something calm, mm. but it has so much power. Mm. The so? way, the movement, yeah. it has power behind it. Does. it. In a positive it's way. Really, yeah. yeah. It does. It's we need to be design. powerful, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In order to be light, we also need yes. to be, it's to nice. have the strength to decide to be light. I think I that's a, I think that's a really good thing that Angelica yeah. says because even though it's light and it's calm, you are right. It's a strong it's a strong design. It has yeah, a big you. emotion. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very true. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank well, you. yes, I'm really glad that you showed this. It's yeah. really lovely. Thank I you enjoy for, it for as well. Here. Shall oh. I take it? Yes. Oh wait, maybe. <laughs> oh, there is maybe a question. So uh, not a question, but Lisa Florista says love this, yeah. and we have Dalia Bort. Tolotti yeah, saying hi dear Tuba. Thank you. Spectacular <laughs> design. Oh, thank yes. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Someone might still say something nice, but I will tell you okay, after. Yeah, yeah. No problem. <laughs> Enjoy. You will get all the compliments. Whoops. So, Whoops. Yeah. It, it's yes, light, it's right? Just, yes, it's <laughs> light, but it's also a strong design. So it's, yeah, uh, it is. It still but stays you need very to well. carry with the. You need to know to carry with the flower water yep. in. Thank you. Yes, Whoops. the water makes it a little Shall bit more difficult. But the flowers have very good water source. It's also a nice thing to say about it because uh, it's a very organic design. Actually, there are some wires in it, of course, but um, there's no foam or whatever. So it's just a bouquet in a frame standing straight into the water. So how good is that? That's pretty amazing. Then we have another uh, florist here who is also a student uh, of the school and uh, uh, of, of Gregor's right now in the course. Her name is Natalia Volk. And she will also be showing you uh, her design. So <laughs> I'm just checking out what kind of design it is and whether this one pedestal is enough. I don't think so. I think we need an, an extra pedestal here, which I have. So I'll just move out of the screen. And then if Natalia is ready, then uh, please, I would say come forward and show this lovely work of yours. Yes. Will this work? Okay. Yes, you made a very strong work. So, Natalia, would you like to speak in English or would you prefer me to translate for you? What do you like? Would I you like to speak Dutch. All right, please. So, uh, she'll <laughs> speak Dutch <laughs> yeah. and I'll be translating for you. Yes, that's yeah. all good. I come out of Belarus, uh, Russland. Minsk, I come Belarus, if you look at me. I am very happy that I am here. And I am very happy and grateful. 
in, in Burma, dat ik deze kans heb om hier te studeren, deze mooie bloemen te nemen voor mijn werken. Uh, ik woon drie jaar in de, Neder in de Nederland, in Den Haag. Deze maand heb ik mijn winkel gestart, Natalia Wolk Floral Design Studio. You're welcome. Yeah. Let me start by translating <laughs> that. So this is Natalia. Uh, she's really happy uh, that she is here and very grateful that she is, is able to study from Gregor. Uh, she recently moved to the Netherlands, so she moved to The Hague and she's living there for three years and she has a beautiful, started a beautiful flower shop there. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it, but I have seen your video of you hanging up the wreath. Yeah. So you should check out yeah. Natalia Folk on Instagram and you can see her hang up this beautiful wreath. Yeah, but maybe you, you want, to, want to yeah. talk about that You're too. welcome. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. And this work have I yesterday or... No. When? Yesterday? No, not yesterday. Donderdag. Yes, it's nee, Friday woensdag, today. Woensdag yes, gedaan. Wednesday. Yes, so she made this one Wednesday. Yeah, that is table decoration. Mm -hmm. Ik wil de met deze uh, hout, uh, yes. piece of wood mm -hmm. uh, werken. Mm -hmm. En met deze techniek, dat is, I think that deze techniek is moeilijk met deze yeah. uh, draadjes en die mm -hmm. be beestjes. Beestjes, ja, zeker. Beestjes, ja. En die, die materiaal, dat was deze flower, kleine, mm -hmm. kleine bloemetjes, mm -hmm. die uh, bij mijn oma in uh, uh, haar tuintje mm, yeah. uh, well, za waren, ja, yeah. zijn. All right, so I'll, I'll quickly <laughs> translate this a little bit. So, uh, last Wednesday she made this arrangement, which is a table arrangement, and uh, she really wanted to use this piece of wood, and she wanted to challenge herself as well, because she thought it was going to be a little bit difficult to work with these uh, metal wires. You cannot really see them on the screen, but that's also a nice thing. Uh, they are uh, hammered into the wood, and there are tubes in there, so they are totally floating in the air. And uh, it um, reminded her, all these flowers, of her grandmother's garden. Aster, Aster. Aster, yeah, Aster. Uh, clematis uh, and, uh, and other materials um, and that was really a, a big emotion for you, right? This, uh, this yeah, uh, we have in, Be in Belarus heel veel bossen mm. and my oma woont op een rand van geen bos yeah. and she is 93 ah, and uh, so this deze, deze work is an emotional work uh, with over my, my home. Yes, nice. Yeah, so the, her grandmother who lives in, uh, in uh, Belarus, uh, very close to the forest, has all these type of flowers there. Um, she is 93 and uh, it really reminds her of her. So it's a yeah. nice emotional piece for her. Yes. Wow. Thank you very yes. much, Mike. Thank you very much too. You want to tell a little bit about your shop? Where do you, what's the address of your shop in The Hague? Land van Medefort, 269. So. <laughs> Ik doe workshops yes. uh, for um, Gewone mensen die niet uh, uh, professioneel uh, opleiding willen, professionele mm. mensen kunnen yeah. hier altijd komen. Yeah, <laughs> maar ik doe gewoon voor, voor emotions, voor deze gevoel, voor inspiratie, kransen. Ik uh, lijk de vorm, vorm van kransen altijd. Yeah. Oh, yeah. En uh, kerstkrans, uh, deze oster, uh, uh, paas, paaskrans yeah, paas, en alles, yeah. die bloemenkrans. Altijd okay. welkom. Nice. Well, so Yes, yeah, so she has a shop in The Hague, the Land... Land van Medevoort. Land van Medevoort, number... Z uh, 269. 269. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about it a little bit. Um, and yes, she is also... Uh, so she has a beautiful shop there and she also gives workshops for people... Uh, for, I could say, uh, hobby hobbyists. Ho yeah, yes, yeah. for people who yeah. want to do it for fun and uh, want to have a nice work where they can express themselves emotionally with flowers. And she really focuses on wreaths. It's also something culturally from Belarus, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so they make a lot of wreaths. So her specialty is wreaths and making emotional works. So, thank you very much. Thank yes, you very much. And please, uh, so, sh so now she will continue on with her beautiful wall arrangement. She also has a beautiful, everyone is making a beautiful wall Doo -doo. arrangement now <laughs> at that time, at that side. And I think then, then oh, ah. something is happening. Okay. Ah, the microphone. Yes, we still need the microphone. Because the next person who will do is, ah, my mother. So my mother wanted to do also, show also something. So, <laughs> but maybe, m yes, so she, Mom, um, if you walk away with that microphone, everyone will hear what's in the classroom. Oh, yeah, it's already here. Awesome. All right, great. So uh, my mother is also very well prepared, as always, of course. <laughs>
she's making she's <laughs> she's making like the puking gesture to me. <laughs> no, people will think that people will appreciate your honesty. Um, Angelica, you have maybe someone saying something in the chat? Well, uh, I wanted to say something about oh, Natalia's yes. work. Yeah, I please. really loved the color combination. The lilac purple with that beautiful piece of wood yes uh, yeah amazing. yeah the combination of the colors and this this greens and the grasses and the browns it was a really nice uh, harmonious color scheme and then the nice purple so yes you were right very interesting to look at indeed and in, but no one is uh, asking no, any questions no, in the chat no, it's very calm all right a well lot of compliments oh. just yeah that's nice thank you very much guys i hope you are enjoying and then now my mother will show her work and she will talk about this a little bit because even my mother is joining this oh. course, so please, mom, go ahead. The floor is yours. Um, yeah, sorry. I just got a candy in my mouth. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, I made this arrangement the day before yesterday, and we had to bring something that we found somewhere and was very um, precious. But, um, well, this was a um, frame that I found in uh, Nelly's uh, garden and she wanted to throw it away. So I said, oh, no, don't do that. I can make a nice arrangement with that. I think I have an idea for that. So um, I don't know if you can see that, but the inside, well, maybe not there. You can, um, it's open. So I use the wreath to go uh, inside. And I, this, this was a um, biodegradable uh, oasis wreath which we sell in the shop, of course. Um, and I uh, used some uh, autumn leaves from the garden that uh, we collected. And then I used some uh, branches to go upwards. And then also I used uh, two candles in there with the wiring technique and tried to divide the colors over the uh, arrangements. Um, and then on the outside, it's a parallel arrangement, and on the outside, I used um, some branches from the uh, Polygonum uh, family. So that's what I did. So Mike has walked away. Oh, we have got a question. I'll take over. Well, not a question, but uh, I did not know that you made this piece. It is beautiful. Oh, thank you very I much. I really like it. I love the <laughs> colors and the, the framework underneath it. It's yeah, a shame that, that she wanted it to throw it away. That but was so nice because yeah. I wanted to repeat the lines of the uh, foot into the candle uh, holders and I will spray them uh, with water so they also get the same rusty feeling as the rest of the frame. Nice. And uh, well, uh, Kees Tak says, uh, hey Jacqueline. <laughs> hey Kees, leuk dat je erbij bent. Maybe yes. you can hear me again? Okay, yeah. awesome. So, well, I'm going to move on to your to your side. So very okay. nice arrangement, Mom. I like how you did this with the colors and the orange and the yellow and the thank pink. Thank you. Very lovely. Um, so then, thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> then we you don't you don't want to ask me why I joined the course? Well, yes. Why did you join the course? <laughs> actually, okay. no. Well, let's uh, because I'm a big fan of Gregor's work, and I think uh, you never should stop learning. So mm -hmm. that's why I joined the course. Yes, very true. Yes. Well, we were we were talking about it. Yes, yeah, should we? also join and, and we were both like, yes, we really yeah. want to join because it's really an amazing opportunity. So yes, it's been a wonderful experience. Thank you very much. Okay, thank yeah, you. Then, um, oh yes, oh, we have a question. Yes, now uh, Salma Farouk says a very beautiful autumn. Mm -hmm. And Lisa thank Farisa you. says also, hi Jacqueline. Hi Lisa, mm -hmm. how are you doing? All right, so, well, thank you very much then. Um, yeah, bye. Uh, yes, bye bye. <laughs> then uh, Sin <laughs> will get the microphone yes, from uh, my mother. And put it on Gregor because Gregor is uh, also going to say a couple of final words and talk a little bit about this beautiful arrangement that is hanging here in the back. So I'll mo move it a little bit more to the center. And then if we can switch the mm. microphones, then ah, uh, you want it a little bit more? Yeah, I think this is, I think this is good like that. Mm. Yeah, nice. All right. So if you have any questions at any point, please feel free. Don't hesitate. We are here to, to talk with you, so then the floor okay. I give over to Gregor. So Thank you very much. Yeah, so uh, what was uh, this week very much also uh, uh, always a word in between us was uh, about uh, the economical side so that we would say uh, how much of work can be with how much of value to flowers. 
And uh, so if you see this here, except the most beautiful clematis, everything here is very simple. So this is the dry spot in our grass that I brought from home. And then uh, even if you are here in the heart of uh, the world flower distribution, uh, you can really say that uh, what we are doing here is following the instincts and the creative impulses. And uh, so not uh, only deciding for to create high economical value or what, but at the end of the day, so we have many works around here in the studio, many walls we decorated today, so that we always were taking much care for how <clears throat> can be the strongest effect on uh, a work with uh, how much of uh, an impact. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were very precise, especially about proportions, mm -hmm. you know, so that uh, I see now in the picture here <laughs> that this one here should be a little more on the right, on the left. And so like that, if you have that a whole day that somebody is behind you, even somebody is be behind himself, and always looking for placements and uh, proportions. So I think that is very important. So that's what we actually had. Two weeks of constantly going from one to another mm -hmm. and uh, not correcting, but giving advices and also a bit of correcting. So uh, yes, so that is what I actually have to say. Yeah. We could go on all afternoon and would give you the master program here because yeah. of only the wall decorations today many many pieces to see but in the later times maybe that you see a little bit of the one or the other thank sure. you very much yes thank you very much gregor that was awesome yes it's a lovely work and these beautiful clematis from margin par also really lovely to see so um i think uh, that's all we have to show to you for today i really appreciate it that you were here um, we will be posting some pictures here and there on our social media of the works that have been created by the students and by Gregor. Um, and if you want to join uh, for the next time, please really keep an eye on our, our website. We will make an announcement at some point uh, that it will happen again, if it will happen again. And that's really interesting to see. So, uh, yes, thank you very much, everyone. If you have still a question, maybe Angelica, you see a question over there. No questions, but um, we have a few people still saying uh, hello. We have An oh. Anahita. Anahita, hey, hello. Saying hi. hi from Las Vegas. A lovely, ah. beautiful design. Las Vegas, nice. That's really cool. We have Maria saying I love the design. And um, I think she was talking about uh, Jacqueline's design. Oh, okay. Um, and Arti Flora Granville says hi, Jacqueline. Beautiful work. Great to see you. And uh, ah, we have a question. Okay. Anahita says, yeah. what is the oval shape made of? Ah, this oval shape that, that Gregor made. This is uh, a, a very this long grass. This is huh? the, gr the red grass mm -hmm. uh, with uh, no wire inside. There's yeah. just a, a me medolino or something in there. And outside is the wrapped grass. It okay. is the, the, the spongina grass wrapped to a long snake, which is curled together to an oval. Yes. So, so all organic. So yes. It's important there. That's good. I don't know if you heard it because of the microphone. Yes, you can pick it up. Okay, awesome. Yes, so that's awesome because we also were talking a lot about organic works. Not one day was the total focus of the organic works, and the other days there was always elements of organic design that Gregor put in. So that's super interesting to learn from. Um, also, for, for Las Vegas, uh, Gregor did a beautiful demonstration in Las Vegas also at some point. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, yes. First of all, uh, Miriam Somoano says yeah. thank you. Um, we have uh, Salma Farouk uh, yeah. asking, what is the white hanging? The white hanging element is, uh, I think, uh, uh, washi paper, if I remember correctly, or something yeah. waxed. Yeah, wax. Yes, right? Yes, wa washi and wax. Thank you very much. And uh, Lisa Florisa says, uh, thanks, Mike. Miss you all. Have yes, fun. And too, hi, Lisa. Jake. Yes. Give some right. cuddles to Jake. We will give some cuddles to Jake. Okay, so then we will uh, end the live stream with this. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Um, if you want to see some more interesting things, we have a lot more videos on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen them already, if you liked this live stream and 
like our channel, please like the video. Just so press the thumbs up button, all these youtube things I have to say. And uh, if you want to see more of these type of live streams in the future where we also demonstrate some works, please subscribe to our channel. Press the, the red subscribe button if you were not already subscribed. And then one last advertisement thing I, I, I'm going to talk about is we have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. And there we do some behind the scenes footage. So every time we do a live stream, we have some preparations and we film that or we take some pictures and then you can see that uh, on our Patreon. So the upcoming thing that I'm going to post on Patreon is the behind the scenes of Niku uh, Bokansia's uh, masterclass. So we will see a little bit how the frames were made. Uh, so you can check that out on patreon.com slash flower school. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm going to sign out with this and uh, hope to see you next time. <laughs> well, perfect.